So when I make that swing right there, and I'm seeing a straight line transition with my weight, now I know that I'm doing what I want to what I want to do with my weight. And you can see right there how much weight is over on my left heel, which is what should happen when the hips rotate properly. The weight's going to get back on the on the outside part of the left heel, right? And that space that you get in between right here, that peak velocity and right there, that's what I have. A, I have a delayed release. I don't want a lot of face rotation. What we have too much of when we're playing is we have too much face rotation that happens in a swing. And that's when we get inconsistent strikes. That's why it's very difficult for players to get rid of their slice. I shut my face in the backswing so I don't have to worry about releasing it in the downswing. And that's why there's a delay right in there. That's why the shaft that I'm playing is a, is a lightweight stiff. But you can see how, Terry, if you keep running that back and forth, you can see how, go back to the beginning of the dress. So now this is measuring, just so everybody understands what we're talking about here. We're talking about a, this is a, a, a mat that's going to measure what exactly is happening in your weight, in your motion through the swing. Okay? And what I can tell you is, I can look at, just look at that number up there and I can tell you what's happening in a golf swing. Simple as that. If I, if I swing and fall back away, I know I'm going to pre-release the golf club when I get into the strike. My impact position is going to be poor. Pretty simple. And what I'm going to see in my swing is, is that I'm going to have a pretty straight line from heel to toe going up that way and then it's going to shift back to the heel. As I'm shifting my weight into my forward leg like this as the hip is gliding in this way, that's letting the club come from the inside. If I went heel to heel, that would take the club and put it more outside. And if I went toe to heel, right? So l let's, let's see if we can do one here, Terry, if we can. And I'm going to switch to a wedge here. And I'm going to hit what we all battle or what our amateurs battle is an over-the-top slice. Yeah. I got it. I got it. You, you. Okay. Well, they're shooting at us when they hit a slice. Okay, now. First of all, without doing anything yet here, the second you see any line underneath this horizontal line right here, you know you got an issue. Pretty simple. You don't even know what to look at. Second you see that, not what you want. It's kind of like Fred Flintstone golf right here. This, no good. That, pretty good. So what happens is my weight goes back and it gets to my heel of my right foot. So at the top, I'm pretty good. It's a pretty good position at the top. Now as I start to come down, and you can see over here in the video, it's going to start to match up with the weight distribution. I'm going to go over the top, so go ahead. So I'm starting to come out over the top. And now all the weight is shifting out here and onto the toe, so it's all above this horizontal line right here. A lot of toe weight, which you can see a lot of toe weight right here. This is a heel. So just so everybody understands, left side, right side, heel, toe. So when I get weight out on the toe like that, now all of a sudden I'm coming over the top. I still have a lot of mass on the, on the right side, and I'm already through the strike, and I've got 54, 67% of my right side, and it's all out on the toe. The game of golf is not played that way, at least not played well that way. Where'd that golf ball go? Do you know, Terry? 